On a peaceful Wednesday morning, September 17, 1862, both the Union and Confederate armies were waking up to what they thought would be just a normal routine day in the life of a soldier. The events that were about to unfold on this day will change history forever. Between the two armies lay a cornfield owned by David Miller. The corn stalks were turning from green to brown, ready to be harvested perhaps a cache of crop that would provide for his family for the winter. Whatever Miller's plans were for this corn, they were destined to go awry. This cornfield would soon be transformed into an altar where men in blue and gray would sacrifice their all for honor, duty, and love of regiment. Fog shrouded the field that morning, and artillerists on both sides had to wait until the rising sun had burned off enough fog to permit sighting. Just after dawn, the Confederate guns at Dunkard Church, Nicodemus Hill, and the Northwoods, and the Federal Reserve artillery across Antietam Creek opened with a thunderous roar, sounding the knell for America's bloodiest day. The heavy close in fighting completely halted the Union advance. Across the road in the northern portion of the West Woods, the 7th Wisconsin and 19th Indiana saw their comrades' predicament and poured a devastating fire into the Confederates. The Gray Lines were swept away with heavy musket and cannon fire. The two rebel brigades quickly deteriorated, struck from three sides by musketry and artillery, and the order to withdraw was given and quickly carried out. Smoke from the artillery and musketry inundated the field. Soldiers in the thick of the fight were covered with a black, greasy stain of burnt powder, which gave a deadly, ghost-like appearance to the participants. The pungent smell of trampled vegetation, sweat, powder, and bodies imposed a surrealistic perception that survivors carried with them for the rest of their lives.
Antietam Bridge, more commonly known as Burnside's Bridge, and the Dunkard Church stand today in silent testament to that fateful day in 1862. On October 3rd, President Lincoln paid a surprise visit to General McClellan at the Antietam battlefield. No one knows the exact conversation that took place in the tent on that fateful day, but the President accused General McClellan of having a case of the slows in his pursuit of General Lee. The Battle of Antietam lasted three hours. 23,000 men were killed or wounded. That is more casualties than any other day in the history of the United States of America. <laughs>